Gamma Bomb, the terror tapes. Alright, so, Gamma Bomb is a Irish, if I don't mistake, a thrash metal band. They formed 11 years ago, in 2002. Um, that's a long time, really, if you think about it. Um, and they've just released their fourth album, uh, the terror tapes. Um, this album comes after a little bit of turmoil in, in, in the band's recent history, in the sense that they've lost one of their uh, original uh, guitarists, they have to, they've had to replace uh, him, and the vocalist um, has had an operation on his, on his throat or vocal cords or something like that, um, so he was out for a while, and they also changed the label. The last album, uh, Tales from the Grave in Space, was on Earache, and this, the new one is on AFM uh, Records. As you can see, this is the vinyl version, and not just that, but this is a limited edition green vinyl, which is really awesome. Now, Gamma Bomb is never ever gonna be the most innovative or elaborate or um, maybe best thrash metal bands ever, um, but I don't think they actually aim to be that. Um, they're a really fun band, fast songs, neck-breaking speeds, a lot of humor in the in the vocals and in the lyrics, and just an all-round fun band to listen to. Nothing too serious, just all-round fun. And that is what I think makes Gamma Bomb so freaking good. Uh, since the Thrash revival, which really gained a lot of popularity around 2007-2008, there were a lot of bands really trying to mimic the 80s uh, sound. And I think a lot of bands made like one good album and then just disappeared into general crappy Thrash. Gamma Bomb really doesn't do that. They have their own thing. They sing about humorous, funny stuff, um, sci-fi, horror movies, zombies in space, cannibalism, zombies, Robocop, Willem Dafoe, zombies, and it works. It's catchy as hell. Um, I've listened to this five, six times now. And if I just read the titles, if I just see the titles, I think with about 75% of the songs, I can remember some of the hooks, um, some of the choruses, some of the, the, the guitar riffs. I think that's really good. Speaking of guitar riffs, they are very, very tight. Um, a lot of thrash metal sometimes, either the guitarist isn't up to speed and, and can't quite play that controlled or the production isn't as I would like it. This one is, is perfect for my taste. Guitarists are very 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 tight, very fast, but they, they can control it and the production is very nice as well. It doesn't feel too modern because I think modern production feels um, a bit too metallic uh, to my taste, sometimes a bit too loud as well, uh, but this feels just right. It's it's not too old school in the sense that you can't hear what the fuck is going on. But it's 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 just there. It's good and it doesn't get in the way of things, which um, is the way it should be, really. But unfortunately, a lot of the times it's it's not. So with this album, as I said, Gamma Bomb isn't ever going to be the most elaborate or or. Um, innovative thrash bands, and this album doesn't aim to do that. This album probably won't be on any of the top lists at the end of the year, but it is a lot of fun to listen to it. Um, so, if you're a thrash metal fan, or you're willing to buy something that isn't too serious, that that isn't too um, taken in with itself, get this album. Um, the guys have been doing this for 11 years. 
they are really improving um, on all aspects. I think the lyrics are getting better. I think the songwriting is getting better. I think the, the tightness of the guitars is getting a lot better. And they just deserve the support. They really do. Um, so, Gamma Bomb, Terror Tapes, get it.